And in the fourteenth day of the first month is the Passover of the Lord. And in the fifteenth day of this month is the feast. Seven days shall unleavened bread be eaten. In the first day shall be an holy convocation. Ye shall do no manner of servile work therein. But ye shall offer a sacrifice made by fire for a burnt offering unto the Lord. Two young bullocks, and one ram, and seven lambs of the first year. They shall be unto you without blemish. And their meat offering shall be of flour mingled with oil. Three-tenth deals shall ye offer for a bullock, and two-tenth deals for a ram. A several-tenth deal shalt thou offer for every lamb throughout the seven lambs, and one goat for a sin offering to make an atonement for you. Ye shall offer these beside the burnt offering in the morning, which is for a continual burnt offering. After this manner ye shall offer daily, throughout the seven days, the meat of the sacrifice made by fire, of a sweet savor unto the Lord. It shall be offered beside the continual burnt offering and his drink offering. And on the seventh day ye shall have an holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work. Also in the day of the first fruits, when ye bring a new meat offering unto the Lord, after your weeks be out, ye shall have an holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work. But ye shall offer the burnt offering for a sweet savor unto the Lord. Two young bullocks, one ram, seven lambs of the first year, and their meat offering of flour mingled with oil, three-tenth deals unto one bullock, two-tenth deals unto one ram, a several-tenth deal unto one lamb throughout the seven lambs, and one kid of the goats to make an atonement for you. Ye shall offer them beside the continual burnt offering and his meat offering, they shall be unto you without blemish, and their drink offerings. Numbers chapter 29 And in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, ye shall have an holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work. It is a day of blowing the trumpets unto you. And ye shall offer a burnt offering for a sweet savor unto the Lord, one young bullock, one ram, and seven lambs of the first year without blemish. And their meat offering shall be of flour mingled with oil, three-tenth deals for a bullock, and two-tenth deals for a ram, and one-tenth deal for one lamb throughout the seven lambs, and one kid of the goats for a sin offering to make an atonement for you. Beside the burnt offering of the month, and his meat offering, and the daily burnt offering, and his meat offering, and their drink offerings, according unto their manner, for a sweet savor, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord. And ye shall have on the tenth day of this seventh month an holy convocation. And ye shall afflict your souls, ye shall not do any work therein. But ye shall offer a burnt offering unto the Lord for a sweet savor, one young bullock, one ram, and seven lambs of the first year, they shall be unto you without blemish. And their meat offering shall be of flour mingled with oil, three-tenth deals to a bullock, and two-tenth deals to one ram, a several-tenth deal for one lamb throughout the seven lambs, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, Beside the sin offering of atonement, and the continual burnt offering, and the meat offering of it, and their drink offerings. And on the fifteenth day of the seventh month ye shall have an holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work, and ye shall keep a feast unto the Lord seven days. And ye shall offer a burnt offering, a sacrifice made by fire, of a sweet savor unto the Lord. Thirteen young bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year. They shall be without blemish. And their meat offering shall be of flour mingled with oil. Three-tenth deals unto every bullock of the thirteen bullocks. Two-tenth deals to each ram of the two rams. 
and a several tenth deal to each lamb of the fourteen lambs, and one kid of the goats for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, his meat offering, and his drink offering. And on the second day ye shall offer twelve young bullocks, two rams, fourteen lambs of the first year without spot, and their meat offering and their drink offering for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs shall be according to their number, after the manner. And one kid of the goats for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering and the meat offering thereof, and their drink offerings. And on the third day, eleven bullocks, two rams, fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish, and their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the manner. And one goat for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, and his meat offering and his drink offering. And on the fourth day, ten bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish, their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs shall be according to their number, after the manner. And one kid of the goats for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, his meat offering, and his drink offering. And on the fifth day nine bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year without spot, and their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs shall be according to their number, after the manner. And one goat for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, and his meat offering and his drink offering. And on the sixth day, eight bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish, and their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs, shall be according to their number after the manner. And one goat for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, his meat offering, and his drink offering. And on the seventh day, seven bullocks, two rams, and fourteen lambs of the first year without blemish. And their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullocks, for the rams, and for the lambs shall be according to their number after the manner. And one goat for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering, his meat offering, and his drink offering. On the eighth day ye shall have a solemn assembly. Ye shall do no servile work therein. But ye shall offer a burnt offering, a sacrifice made by fire of a sweet savor unto the Lord, one bullock, one ram, seven lambs of the first year without blemish, their meat offering and their drink offerings for the bullock, for the ram, and for the lamb shall be according to their number after the manner, and one goat for a sin offering, beside the continual burnt offering and his meat offering and his drink offering, these things shall ye do unto the Lord in your set feasts, beside your vows and your free will offerings, for your burnt offerings and for your meat offerings and for your drink offerings and for your peace offerings. And Moses told the children of Israel according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. And Jesus himself began to be about thirty years of age, being, as was supposed, the son of Joseph, which was the son of Heli which was the son of Mathet, which was the son of Levi, which was the son of Melchi, which was the son of Janna, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Mattathias, which was the son of Amos, which was the son of Nahum, which was the son of Eslai, which was the son of Nagi, which was the son of Maath, which was the son of Mattathias, which was the son of Semei, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Joanna, which was the son of Resa, which was the son of Zerubbabel, which was the son of Salathiel, which was the son of Neri, which was the son of Melchi, which was the son of Adai, which was the son of Kosum, which was the son of Elmodom, which was the son of Ur, which was the son of Josie, which was the son of Eliezer, which was the son of Joram, which was the son of Mathet, which was the son of Levi, which was the son of Simeon, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Jonan, which was the son of Eliakim, which was the son of Melia, which was the son of Menon, which was the son of Mattatha, which was the son of Nathan, which was the son of David, which was the son of Jesse, which was the son of Obed, 
which was the son of Boaz, which was the son of Salmon, which was the son of Naasson, which was the son of Amminadab, which was the son of Aram, which was the son of Esram, which was the son of Pharis, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of Jacob, which was the son of Isaac, which was the son of Abraham, which was the son of Therah, which was the son of Nacor, which was the son of Serach, which was the son of Ragah, which was the son of Phalek, which was the son of Heber, which was the son of Selah, which was the son of Cainan, which was the son of Arphaxad, which was the son of Sem, which was the son of Noe, which was the son of Lamech, which was the son of Methuselah, which was the son of Enoch, which was the son of Jared, which was the son of Meliliel, which was the son of Cainan, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Also that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good. And he that hasteth with his feet sinneth. The foolishness of man perverteth his way, and his heart fretteth against the Lord. Wealth maketh many friends, but the poor is separated from his neighbor. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Many will entreat the favor of the prince, and every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. All the brethren of the poor do hate him, how much more do his friends go far from him? He pursueth them with words, yet they are wanting to him. He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul. He that keepeth understanding shall find good. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. Delight is not seemly for a fool, much less for a servant to have rule over princes. The discretion of a man deferreth his anger, and it is his glory to pass over a transgression. The king's wrath is as the roaring of a lion, but his favor is as dew upon the grass. A foolish son is the calamity of his father, and the contentions of a wife are a continual dropping. House and riches are the inheritance of fathers, and a prudent wife is from the Lord. Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. He that keepeth the commandment keepeth his own soul. But he that despiseth his ways shall die. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given will he pay him again. Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. A man of great wrath shall suffer punishment, for if thou deliver him, yet thou must do it again. Hear counsel and receive instruction, that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. The desire of a man is his kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord tendeth to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. A slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom, and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. Smite us corner, and the simple will beware. And reprove one that hath understanding, and he will understand knowledge. He that wasteth his father, and chaseth away his mother, is a son that causeth shame, and bringeth reproach. Cease, my son, to hear the instruction that causeth to err from the words of knowledge. An ungodly witness scorneth judgment, and the mouth of the wicked devoureth iniquity. Judgments are prepared for scorners, and stripes for the back of fools dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. 
Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Psalm 92, a psalm or song for the Sabbath day. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High, to show forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night upon an instrument of ten strings, and upon the psaltery, upon the harp with a solemn sound. For thou, Lord, hast made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of thy hands. O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doth a fool understand this. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. But thou, Lord, art most high forevermore. For lo, thine enemies, O Lord, for lo, thine enemies shall perish. All the workers of iniquity shall be scattered but my horn shalt thou exalt like the horn of an unicorn. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Mine eye also shall see my desire on mine enemies, and mine ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing to show that the Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Psalm 93 the Lord reigneth. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength, wherewith he hath girded himself. The world also is established that it cannot be moved. Thy throne is established of old. Thou art from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their waves. The Lord on high is mightier than the noise of many waters, yea, than the mighty waves of the sea. Thy testimonies are very sure. Holiness becometh thine house, O Lord, forever. Psalm 94 O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth. Show thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render a reward to the proud. 
Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things, and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves? They break in pieces thy people, O Lord, and afflict thine heritage. They slay the widow, the stranger, and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, The Lord shall not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Understand, ye brutish among the people, and ye fools, when will ye be wise? He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? He that chastiseth the heathen, shall not he correct? He that teacheth man knowledge, shall not he know? The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man, that they are vanity. Blessed is the man whom thou chastenest, O Lord, and teachest him out of thy law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity, until the pit be digged for the wicked. For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise up? for me against the evildoers, or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity, unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. When I said, My foot slippeth, thy mercy, O Lord, held me up. In the multitude of my thoughts within me, thy comforts delight my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But the Lord is my defense, and my God is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord our God shall cut them off. Psalm 95 O oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before His presence with thanksgiving, and make a joyful noise unto Him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In His hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is His also. The sea is His, and He made it, and His hands formed the dry land. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. For He is our God, and we are the people of His pasture, and the sheep of His hand. Today, if ye will hear His voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation, and as in the day of temptation in the wilderness. When your fathers tempted me, proved me and saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said, It is a people that do err in their heart, and they have not known my ways, unto whom I swear in my wrath that they should not enter into my rest. <laughs> 